Today, we are diving deep into the world of Armored Core 6, exploring three creative builds that will dominate the battlefield. We have three builds, a Shredder melee build, an overwhelming pile bunker build, and a devastating flamethrower build. If you're looking to crush your opponents in style, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Before we start, I saw the feedback on the last videos, so I'll be changing up the format with this one. So keep the feedback coming as we grow together, and I'll discuss it a bit at the end of the video if you're interested. Also, please share in the comments your own favorite build. I'll be making a video about the top three builds made by fans. Let's start with our Shredder build. First up, we have the Shredder AC build, a lethal combination of speed and power designed for close quarter combat. This build is all about staggering your enemy while dealing devastating blows. It features a rapid firing machine gun to keep the stagger build up, a melee weapon that shreds opponent from range, and not one but two turrets for additional damage and stagger build up. Let's quickly go through the part choices. The legs are chosen for jump distance and drip. The arms are chosen to strike a balance between firearm specialism and melee specialization. The core is chosen to fit the overall build without being overweight. The head is chosen for the best stats all around. The gin is chosen to fit the needs of the build and spice it up from using coral gins in every build. The FCS is chosen to get faster lock on time from melee range aka below 100 meters. The booster is chosen for faster quick boost and longer thrust but they're up to you and up to your playstyle. What makes the Shredder AC build so deadly is its versatility. Whether you're facing a swarm of lighter mechs or a hulking tank, this build can adapt on Conquer. And those turrets, they're not just for show, they pack a punch and keep your enemies on their toes. The turrets in combination with the human will build up stagger and the melee will shred once the enemy is staggered. If the stagger bar is building up slowly, you can use your melee in between to let your units cool down. Next on our list, we have the Rockets AC build, a heavy hybrid setup that is all about getting close and personal. This beast is armed with rockets for staggering foes and a melee weapon that delivers a jaw-dropping amount of damage. Bonk. Let's quickly go through the part choices. The legs are chosen to allow heavyweight support and drip. You can change for better stat if you like. The arms are chosen to strike a balance between recoil and melee specialization, which both matter a lot in this build. The core is chosen to fit the overall build and for drip. You can change for better stats. The head is chosen for best stats all around that fit the build. The gen is chosen to fit the needs of the build and is not a coral gen to alleviate stress of having to exhaust your energy and be a sitting duck with a very heavy build. If you like coral gens, you can switch to one. The FCS is chosen to get faster lock on time for the rockets. And the booster is chosen to fit the heavy build for its ideal weight support plus great stats. The rockets AC build is perfect for players who enjoy the thrill of brawling in the midst of chaos, those rockets will keep your enemies off balance, allowing you to land devastating melee blows. It's all about timing and finesse with this build, and trust me, the payoff is worth it. The Morley, in combination with the Majestic, will stagger the enemy, and the Pile Bunker will shred with an absurd amount of damage. Like the first build, if the stagger bar is building up slowly, you can use your melee in between to let your units cool down. But it is rarely the case, the rockets get the job done and almost stagger all enemies at once so so you stagger and then you charge up the pile bunker and you go to town last but certainly not least we have the flamethrower build a medium aoe setup designed to turn the battlefield into an inferno this build features two turrets for consistent stagger build up and a grenade launcher for ground aoe damage and of course let's not forget the start of the show the flamethrower, perfect for melting enemies at close range. Let's quickly go through the part choices. The legs are chosen mainly for drip. You can change for better stats or for better playstyle that fits yours. The arms are chosen for the best firearm specialization to enhance our ability to maintain our lock-on, especially if you move a little bit out of the close range. The core is chosen to fit the overall build and for drip. You can change for better stats if you like. The head is chosen for good stats. The gen is chosen to fit the needs of the build and is a coral gen which would allow dodge spamming 
and overall better movement. The FCS is chosen to give faster lock-on time exclusively up close. The booster is of preference, so pick what you like within the ideal range. And the honorable mention here is the turrets, and they are chosen for faster stagger buildup, though they don't last as much as the Huxleys. The flamethrower is all about controlling the battlefield. Those turrets will keep your enemies at bay, while the flamethrower roasts anyone that dares to get close. It's a fiery spectacle that not only deals damage, but also builds up ACS status effect. The turrets will fill up the stagger bar alongside the flamethrower, with the ground grenade launcher spam in between. The goal is to either stun the enemy in place to be under the fire from the grenade launcher on the ground and the flamethrower, or to fill the ground area with grenade launcher spam so the enemy would keep running into flames wherever they go. Either works wonders. Hopefully this video clarifies the choices I made for these builds. As you might have noticed, not all of them are stat driven. I do care a lot about how the AC looks at the end and that influences some decisions in build crafting. For example, I avoid repeating the same looks, which limits my options and forces me to drop some parts that could perform better. With that being said, I still start with the most important part that would heavily influence the build, and then I would go for a look that fits from there. For example, for the rocket build, I went for the arms to have better recoil and melee specialization with the pile bunker, then I picked the rest of the parts to fit the overall look for a better looking AC. I generally feel like if you enjoy going for the most optimal stance, this might tick you off, but let's be honest, rarely having almost identical stats would result into better gameplay. I would rather have drip. Not to mention that some of the build choices in the videos I made are left semi-open to support multiple weapon choices and different playstyles. Since that did not resonate with a lot of people, I dropped it to make the builds more specific. The feedback that I received on the videos was awesome since it made me reflect on how I made the videos in the first place. I always thought that the viewers would be more casual and less concerned with stats, but I was wrong. It also made me reflect on parts of the video that could be made better to be more engaging with the viewers. Overall, the feedback was very positive, so let's keep it that way. And there you have it. That's our top three creative builds in Armored Core. Whether you prefer the swift and deadly shredder, the heavy hitting rockets, or the blazing hot flamethrower, these builds are sure to leave a trail of destruction in your way. Which one will you choose? Let me know in the comments. Which one seems very cool to play? That is all for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Mech Madness. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.